Hi, I'm Tom Pearson, and we haven't shown you a project like this one before. This is a kitchen expansion and remodel. The owners had a kitchen where they liked to entertain their friends, and they found that the space was becoming too small, and they wanted to increase the space. So we added on 400 square feet and put these really beautiful windows here. And they found that they liked to gather in the kitchen quite a bit, and that's where everybody, everybody would come together. So with adding this extra space and having a nice large island and redoing the cabinetry and at that time, might as well get a new stove, a new dishwasher and redo the entire existing kitchen. The brick on the home, they stopped making several years ago, but we were able to find a place in Kentucky and my bricklayer went ahead and went to Kentucky and picked up a load of brick, 5,000 brick from Kentucky and brought it back so we could match it in. Uh, the windows were going with aluminum clad windows on the home. The aluminum clad windows, we were able to match the color on the existing home. The existing home is painted windows, but we were able to blend that in enough. Right here is where the new refrigerator is going to go. And right, right over here is going to be the new stove. We're going to have a hood that goes up to the ceiling where it's going to exhaust out. And we've got this large island here. It's like about 11 feet long here. Uh, it's about five feet wide on the far end and about three and a half feet on this end. And the cabinet tree is going to work itself around this corner right here. And back here in this back room is going to be a little study area and then just a little closet area right there to store some stuff. And uh, there will be three pennant lights in the ceiling here with room for about six bar stools along the edge of the island. This is the existing fireplace. We went ahead and put a piece of plywood up here and plastic so we could keep it sealed off because it's opened up to the living room on the other side. Um, we're going to put a new mantle up here above, but the brick all stays the same. We did lower the ceiling down so we could tie into the um, new beam that we installed. We still have a 9-foot ceiling in this area here, 13-foot out there in the open area. Um, we went ahead and installed this new beam here. It's a 22-foot by 5.5-inch power beam, and we installed this short beam across here to carry the load for that. We were, that way we were able to open up this span across the entire back wall. That used to be the back wall across here. There was a double door and there was a bay window over here. And um, the owners really wanted to have the open space where they felt like everything rolled together without any columns. Um, we've used Pella doors and Pella windows on the home. And um, we've got a very large, expansive window system here on the back of the house here, taking advantage of all the tree line and, and stuff. Right here we built this knee wall right here, which we're going to install bookshelves at a later date. This will have a real nice top on it with custom built doors here to where you can close off the bookshelf area. There's going to be a deck on this side right here with a sliding door. You'll be able to walk out on the deck on this whole area. There will also be a deck on the other side where the other sliding door is at. We were able to use the existing furnace and run out duct work. We ran three, three new supplies so we can heat and cool this space and we're going to install a cellulose insulation in the walls. We're going to insulate this very well so we can keep this room comfortable. Currently right now we've got four weeks in this project this coming Monday and that's from the time we broke ground to install the footings, the block, the framing. The brick layers are moving along very well. They're going to be completed next Tuesday. Um, we've got about five more weeks and uh, in five weeks I'd be very happy to show you this new finished space. Hi, welcome back to our kitchen expansion. I'm standing where the existing exterior wall used to be. This used to be a brick wall right here. We tore out the brick wall and we put a wood beam in from uh, side to side right here. There used to be a door right over here that led out to the wood deck. This is a very unique island. It's smaller here on this end and it's, it widens up at the, at the other end. This was, uh, this was designed for a pinch point along here so it didn't feel crowded and it gives it a lot of architectural elements. Uh, the cabinet tree, the homeowner saved back the cabinet tree, put it in the garage very carefully and we reinstalled the cabinets. The cabinet builder went ahead and, and put together a design with the architect uh, on the new cabinet, the glazed painting cabinets above the stove, the hood and the cabinet tree below and the island and where we were able to reuse the old cabinets and the new cabinets where they all tie together and to work with the new space. As the homeowner, one of the most important aspects of this project 
was making sure that the addition was seamless with the existing house. We didn't want it to look like a typical add-on addition. Uh, craftsmanship was also very important to us and we looked at some of the uh, materials that Tom had presented us and some of the examples of the homes he had done in the past and we felt very comfortable with the quality of work that was going to be performed. Uh, another important aspect was obviously budget and and the timeline and again Tom met our expectations if not exceeded those when it came to those um, important uh, elements as well. Uh, we're, we're just tickled to death with the overall look of this house. Um, it's, a, it's a new living space for us and it, it really changes the, the character of the home. Um, we feel like the money we invested was, was well worth it. Uh, we're, we're very happy with, with every aspect of this project.